Hello and welcome to Brickinet. Today we're going to be looking at one of our newer modules that was added recently over the summer and that's the staff room. Now, one of the staff room's defining features within the story is that it's always guided by two gargoyles. So I had to get these two guys in just to fulfill that duty. Got some unusual parts in this build. So we're going to take it back to the studs and see how it's done. So the first part of our build is nothing particularly special. Just a couple of uh, obviously one stud walls. Use a big plate in here just to save on bricks and also because it's going to be completely covered up. But mainly because that's what I had available at the time. We've got some snot bricks here to hold up our portraits and these all come from the Grand Staircase set, gift with purchase that came out in with the Summer Wave 2022. So I'll just pop these up here. Yeah, there we go. Now this little spear is only here because I needed a plate didn't have one so I used a clip plate and I thought I'd just give it a reason for being there. So that's that. You see we've got a couple more studs on the side here and they're going to hold in our bookcase. I'm just going to foot the bookcase here with some tile because we end with uh, books right down at the bottom. And just to obscure the fact they weren't actually sitting on the shelf, we just put that little face you plate in. So this is a fairly easy construction, just uh, a long plate, stack of tiles, mixture of tiles and headlight bricks, and then a plate on the end. And those headlight bricks are holding some of these half round bricks, just to give us some fatter spines. In amongst them, we've got these snot bricks, just to hold these nice plates on sticker elements from oh, Charms class, or no, probably Transfiguration. Somebody will correct me if I've got it wrong. But those are our bookshelves. Very colourful. I don't know why I've got so many colourful books. I think most of them came from Dumbledore's office. Actually. That's just going to slide in there. And just attach to those two studs and cover over that um, panel. So that end of the build, fairly easy. Nothing too special. Just going to add in a table, a couple of chairs for our professors to lounge around on. And just in the corner here, I'll have little plant in a vase. I do hope that's a yellow vase, not a clear one. Otherwise they are not growing that plant correctly. Just pop that on there, just for a bit more visual interest. Now where it gets interesting is at this end of the uh, build. I'm going to use the word interesting lightly. Very much subjective term these in here so we're going to start off with a flight of steps Now the reason I decided to add steps because I wanted to put the gargoyles outside and uh, I wanted to use this piece here which is the kind of piece you only acquire when you're on Bricklink late at night obviously if they show you the front I thought oh that's nice a lot of texture on there not having ever seen behind before so we've got these little uh, protrusions here and I imagine those are for clipping on gates they've got that kind of look and so you'd be able to clip on a gate or maybe a pair of thin gates to cover over this entrance way but I just thought it was really nice I like the texture I thought it would uh, look quite good in one of these modules so I ordered it and then I saw the back and I thought, what am I going to do with this? But I solved it in the end. So let's just build in 
this around and the platforms for our gargoyles. He's going to go here, just put this little decorative toe piece with a candle on it. I can just there again for a little bit more interest. So the platforms are our gargoyles are now formed. Put a couple of jumpers on. There and there. Just to fill up the space. And then we will deal with our gateway. So this is nice. Eight wide. Fills up the depth of the um, depth of the module nicely. But we're going to add in another brick there. Just because we need to be able to obscure these protrusions on the back. And that's not easy unless you have one of these. So obviously these arches are a lot taller. But if you line up the tops of the arches, as if by magic, with barely a rattle or wiggle available, these will slot into the gaps on the back of this arch and they will line up nicely. So I was very pleased when I found that out. I may have even danced a couple of steps. So I'm going to pop that one in there. Oh, pop that in there. These extensions flaring off the front are just to hold up the level above to ensure that it gets full width. So if I'm ever pressing down on it to secure it in place, it's not going to come pinging off. And then here we have our archway. Got a long piece at the side and all of their various infrastructure. Now, how do I do this? And this is going to slide in. No, it's not. Not with that photo off there, it's not. We'll slide into here like that. Oh, let's stay that brick. Let's stay that brick. Good lord. Quick emergency surgery. Oh, that's shocking. I must have slid in one of my uh design bricks instead of one of my build bricks. Anyway, let's get this piece into position. I'm sure it's going to be easier to slot them both in together. Let's do that. Right. Into place. I've talked this up so much and now I'm failing every opportunity to put it in the mark. There we go. We are in. And that ugly open back is obscured. We have our steps down into the common room and our steps up as well as we attach this onto here. The candle back onto here. Now we can add our gargoyles. Keeping the staff room safe from prying students. I like their vigilance, always looking outwards, keeping an eye on the place, but it's mainly because their horns interact with these uh, clips that are built into the arch. So they've got no way of readjusting their position. So luckily, our gargoyles are on watch. So to finish off, we're going to add our tile there, ready to support the next level. just before we add the front lintel on staff room would be nothing without a couple of teachers relaxing we have professor slughorn he's clearly not got a lot on this afternoon and our professor grubbly plank mock he's either having a cup of tea or making sure that's what everyone thinks she's doing there we go, let's add our lintel back. And there's our completed staff room. Nothing too extravagant. Tables and chairs. But we do have that nice entryway with that ever vigilant gargoyles. And it gives quite a nice view down the length. Seeing into 
I start from there. So if you've enjoyed this video, please leave us a like. And if you'd like to see some more Harry Potter mocks, and maybe use some more disgusting coloured Lego bricks, please subscribe to Brickin' It. Bye-bye.